Let us see this practically. This is Hadoop cluster. So let me just get into root. Let's do JPS. So most of the services are running. Now let us open the file sdfssite.xml. This is the sdfssite.xml. Now I will just add the property we have discussed in the presentation in this file. So here let me add the property. I'm just copying the property from here and let me just paste it. Okay, so I'm just putting this I, ha I have added this property here and now I'll just save it after saving it I should restart the SDFS services so while copy paste there were some font got changed okay and let's do the same for Hadoop SDFS data node and after this we will check for JPS just to ensure that all the services are running so name node data node are running fine now let us uh, try to load some file and see that how that file gets loaded at the same time let me open this browser and here we will see that what is the block size of the previous files which have been stored so let's go for browse the file system so here you can see that this is a file and block size is given as 64 MB okay so the file size is 44 4.4 KB and the block size is 64 MB now let us load some file so here we have some files so we have a PDF file let us load that So I have loaded that file. Let us check sdfs dfs ls slash. You can see that that file is loaded here. This is the file running school. And let us see here. Let us just refresh this. And here you can see running scoop.pdf is loaded and the block size is changed as 128 MB. So if the file size is more than 128 MB then this file will get divided and each block here each block size here will be of 128 MB the other command is for loading an individual file so if you are loading individual file in that case you can use it like this So this is the command and here you can mention the block size okay so let's do one thing let's have the block size as 64 into 3 so 192 
into 1024 multiply by 1024 so let us have this okay so this much size we will mention so instead of this okay so we'll upload some file home training and uh, desktop let's add uh, iris.csv into slash so block size i have given 192 mb it is loaded now let us refresh it again it is refreshed so here you can see iris.csv is loaded and the block size is 192 MB so I hope it is clear that there are two ways if you want to have a specific block size for a file you can make use of this particular command and if you want to make a change for the complete SDFS in that case you have to basically use this property in SDFS site.xml. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video and would like to recommend it to your friends, please like, share, and subscribe to Indeed Inspiring Infotech. We would also love to hear your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below.